Hey, hello everybody. This is Peter Jackson. I'm the uh, CEO at Bluescape. And uh, we're pretty excited about our relationship with Wacom because we sort of see this connection between everybody looking at monitors these days or upgrading monitors, especially since they're suddenly becoming remote people. And this idea that this physical telephone that we uh, some have and most of us don't have now has, 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 is gone. And, and then we're, we, we couple that with a bunch of different conference services that we use. Um, and so we've been working hard with our conference service to sort of combine that with pulling a whiteboard, pulling a monitor together, to sort of have like the next generation of the combination of all your content, all your whiteboarding, uh, your telephone recordings and things of that nature. So it's it's pretty exciting when you start to think about having this device that Wacom creates and, and we're launching that now uh, at this show. So it's good to be part of uh, this this opportunity with Wacom Connected Inc. Um, and I've decided that part of this presentation or the majority of this presentation would be great to bring this gentleman along uh, that I know well, Eric Stoddard. And you know he started off working at Ford for over 10 years and decided then to take everything he's learned about design, about you know, you're seeing all these cool Mustangs and uh, trucks, electric trucks that are coming out on, and the fast work that Ford's doing. I just saw today that they're trading at a 20 year high at the stock. So they've been able to reinvent themselves, utilizing things like Bluescape and better design and sort of getting ready for the next generation of automobiles, uh, the EV world. Um, and then he he's obviously been a big part of that, but he decided, hey, why don't I go teach people how to do that? And so he went back and became a, a professor um, and started to do that. And, 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 and that sort of grew and he'll tell you a little bit about how that sort of took off with the, um, the remote piece of where everybody was when COVID hit and how he was prepared to educate that way. Uh, but more importantly, he's been able to take technology and make people be able to create and design things in the automotive space at record pace with incredible design, with committees of people or, uh, or, or students working together uh, and, and collaborating ideas to come up with, with, with new innovation. And so I'm excited for him to do that. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce you to Eric Stoddard. Eric? Thanks, Peter. And thanks for the opportunity to be here at Wacom Connected Inc. I'd like to introduce myself and tell you a little bit about what I'm doing to reinvent design education using Bluescape. So a little bit about myself. Uh, my name is Eric Stoddard. Uh, I am the uh, founder and creative director at cardesign.academy, which is an independent online training platform uh, dedicated to reinventing design education. Uh, I'm also an experienced automotive designer. I've uh, just spent the last 10 years with Ford Motor Company uh, up until May of this year. Also worked at Hyundai and Chrysler, uh, where I led the design of numerous uh, concept and production vehicles, uh, including the all new Ford Mustang Mach E. I'm uh, also the founder and creative director at Launch Studio, uh, which is an all new consultancy uh, focused on designing vehicles, consumer products, and engaging experiences that change people's lives. Uh, this is something that I've started since May of this year after leaving Ford. And so, uh, together with Cardesign.academy, I'm now uh, fully immersed in uh, human centered design and um, working with companies like Bluescape to help uh, change the way people work and the way, uh, the way people collaborate. So I wanted to talk to you today about Cardesign.academy because this, is, this has really been a personal passion project for me. Um, starting with um, an online course I taught with Cleveland Institute of Art in January of 2020, just before the pandemic started. Um, uh, I worked closely with uh, Cleveland Institute of Art uh, because they depend heavily on uh, talented designers from Detroit to, to teach their automotive design program, which entails a weekly three-hour drive to Cleveland each way. Uh, so they were all ears when, uh, when I brought up the idea of teaching online using Bluescape uh, at CIA. So we began the course uh, in January 2020. Uh, by midterm, uh, the COVID-19 pandemic was in full, full swing. Um, the school was shut down. Everyone was sent home. Uh, however, uh, since uh, our course was already being taught online, um, our students were able to continue their projects and continue the course uninterrupted. And at the same time, we were able to help uh, the rest of the design professors pivot their courses to online using Bluescape. So it was a huge win-win. 
I felt at that time, um, the, and the summer of 2020 was was the was the perfect time to launch Car Design Academy. Um, something that I'd been thinking about for a long time. Um, in you know, based on some of the frustrations that I've uh, that I've had teaching at the college level, and uh, specifically with the, with the rising cost of education and what I think it's doing to students and their personal debt load, and also what it's done to the talent level uh, coming out of the schools, because I believe that has a filtering effect as well. So I wanted to create an, an online academy uh, solely focused on skill and portfolio development with, without the, um, the overhead of a traditional private college. Um, it's not an accredited degree program, but just, just offers uh, expertise, coaching, and mentoring uh, to help uh, students develop world-class portfolios. So Car Design Academy is, is really all about personal, direct, one-on-one -on -one interaction. Uh, we, do, we do have online video tutorial material as, as most, um, as most uh, online courses do. However, um, uh, that, all of that material is free on our YouTube channel. And what students really experience in our courses is this personal direct interaction. So all of the courses have uh, live personal interaction with each other and with me. And um, it's a much, much more like being in a real classroom. And really, Bluescape was the platform that made um, all of that possible. So I wanted to talk to you about the typical use cases of teaching on-site. Um, at a private design school. So the most, uh, the, the, the most common and obvious scenario is the weekly group review where everyone has their sketches posted up on the wall. So we're, we're all in the room together. Um, everyone is able to um, independently walk up and down the wall and look at different sketches, look more closely at some sketches, pull back and look at all of the sketches together. Um, Every, everyone is able to move around independently and yet also be able to move in, in groups uh, as students are presenting. So, so students present their sketches and models to the group and to the instructors, um, and, and they take turns having, having the floor, if you will, or, or leading the space uh, in presenting their projects. Uh, also, we have uh, live sketch demonstrations in which the instructor or perhaps guest designers come in and, and do, do sketch demonstrations to show their, their various techniques and, and tools. Um, and in some cases, the teachers will, will, uh, will take student work and do sketch overlays in order to show how to improve their, their work. And so Bluescape as a platform has really enabled the on-site classroom experience online. And so I'm going to take you through um, our Bluescape workspace and show you uh, the various ways in which we use Bluescape to replicate this on-site experience. So as you can see, I have uh, an infinite wall full of sketches. These are all examples of uh, sketch demo work that I've done for my students. Uh, a lot of this is video content that's available on our YouTube channel, which I'm able to post here. <clears throat> and so th this is actually a workspace where all Car Design Academy students can come and view uh, video tutorials, look at sketch demo content. And uh, one of the things you'll see right away is that um, as we zoom into the images, uh, they maintain their full resolution. So you can see the level of detail that is maintained uh, with, these, with these images. So that's one of the real powerful aspects of Bluescape uh, compared to most um, uh, you know, to most online collaboration tools. You can see how, how even like the, the, the texture of the paper shows up very clearly in the, uh, in the sketch as I zoom in to the image. And I'm using a Wacom uh, Cintiq Pro 16 inch. Uh, I'm using it as a, as a touch display right now to, to um, use, using my fingers to, to move around the space. And you can see I'm able to, to, um, to, to move about this infinite wall space. And so as students uh, present their work, um, they're able to each take the lead. So for example, um, so example, you know, each student can, can press the lead workspace button and, and then uh, be able to 
take turns presenting their work and everyone will follow them around their workspace. Each of the projects are grouped uh, in what are called canvases. So this, this really helps to organize work. So students, for example, can group their work um, in, in a, in, you know, with their own name or the name of their project. And they can, um, so, so work is easily organized and, and uh, easily found. You can go into a search window and you can see all the different uh, canvases. So if I wanna jump to a specific canvas, I can just tap on the canvas and you can see it's going to um, jump to those, to that grouping. So Bluescape also has an excellent uh, sketch annotation tool. So right, right on Bluescape, right on the wall, um, the instructor or students can do sketch annotations. So using my uh, Cintiq Pro 16 inch, I'm able to do, uh, for example, sketch corrections. Let's say um, the student has some issues with their wheels. I can go in and make live sketch annotations and corrections. Maybe, uh, you know, maybe the, the ellipses need improvement. And, and this, this is just a quick annotation tool. Maybe, maybe I, I tell the student the sketch looks a bit narrow. So I'm gonna give them some direction to, to pull the sketch a bit wider by, by moving, the, um, moving the, uh, the, 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 the far side of the vehicle um, to the left. But you can see um, the line quality is actually pretty good you know, for, for quick sketch annotations. You know, maybe I want to make some changes to the shape of the glass. Maybe I want to make some changes to the shape of the lamps. Maybe the lamps need to be a bit larger. So you can see I've given Good direction to my students to to make the car appear wider, to adjust the um, the ellipses. It's a very common uh, critique in the classroom setting. But what if we wanted to talk about something more like a, a silhouette change? So you know, so for example, I have this sketch here, which is kind of an SUV body style, and I want to give some give some direction maybe we want to try more of a coupe silhouette so using uh, using the pen tool again I, you can see i have um uh i have i have some color options as well so i can take the white the white pen and lay out a different silhouette it's a little bit faster and more aggressive. Maybe maybe I can even use a thicker uh, a thicker brush and and white out the the far side of the vehicle to give it a lower sleeker appearance. And this is just again using this the basic sketch tools of Bluescape. Give it a faster pillar. I can go in with the eraser and I can make some adjustments. So you can see I have a much more aggressive uh, coupe-like profile, but perhaps I want to take it a bit further and demonstrate a, uh, a screen share in Sketchbook Pro. I can tap on the image and I can say download with markup. So I've just downloaded the image from Bluescape with the markups 
And now I can uh, go into Sketchbook Pro and do a more, uh, a more high fidelity demo. So for example, uh, I can go into my layers, turn down the opacity. Now I can do a nice uh, high quality sketch overlay. And having the, the, the Cintiq Pro 16 has been a huge, huge uh, improvement for me in how I use Bluescape and how I'm able to, to do live uh, design instruction. You can see I can do a really, really nice uh, sketch overlay, good line quality. So I'm able to screen share live to the students using Bluescape's screen sharing. I can add some layers. Do a bit of rendering. I'm gonna go for a little bit softer look. The, the marker sketch is a bit harsh, a little bit uh, Throwing a little bit of white airbrush back into the, the mix. Get some of that soft, softer surface quality. And then finally finishing up with some graphic elements, like wheels, tires. What's great is I have all my main functions programmed right into the uh, Cintiq uh, hotkeys. You can see I've done a pretty nice, uh, very quick sketch demonstration uh, using Bluescape screen sharing uh, to show a live demonstration in Sketchbook Pro. And basically, you can screen share any, any uh, 2D or 3D program from your desktop. So I'll save this image. And then I can populate that image back on the Bluescape workspace just by uploading it from my desktop. So now I have a direct AB comparison from the original sketch to the new sketch. And you can see it's in full resolution, exactly as it was sketched on Sketchbook Pro. So I can compare the two. So what if I wanted to share something 3D perhaps using virtual reality. So as I said before, you can screen share anything from your desktop computer, including 3D and including virtual reality. I'm gonna put on my virtual reality headset. I'm gonna show you uh, how we can uh, collaborate in 2D and 3D simultaneously using Bluescape and Gravity Sketch, a three-dimensional virtual reality modeling and collaboration tool. So I'm screen sharing Gravity Sketch, and here you can see a fully realized three-dimensional model of a uh, sexy, beautiful sports coupe that I designed in Gravity Sketch. It's a fully capable sub-D modeling program uh, with the ability to do live sketching as well. So, uh, for example, uh, I can I can model a fully uh, realized exterior, but I can also design the interior uh, in real time. And I'm looking at this in human scale. So I'm able to actually sit in the car and literally design the car around myself. So if I wanted to, for example, sketch out some, some UI concepts, maybe I have my, my nav screen here. And maybe I have a, a digital uh, HVAC control or a digital shift control. I can do all of those things right here in Gravity Sketch. But what if there are 
uh, participants who are not in VR who want to participate in a virtual reality uh, presentation. Well, thanks to Bluescape screen sharing, they can uh, observe in real time uh, the, the live screen feed and be able to take screen grabs of the, uh, the model in various perspectives. And using Bluescape Inc, being able to uh, do sketch annotations uh, right on Bluescape. So participants are able to grab images right from the three-dimensional uh, feed using uh, Bluescape screen share. They can just take quick snapshots of the images as they see them and populate them on the Bluescape workspace. And then be able to provide real-time sketch annotation to those who are in virtual reality. So, so for example, let's say we wanted to make some, make some uh, quick changes to the, the shape of the glass, the shape of the cabin. Maybe we want to change some of the character lines. Using Bluescape Inc, we're able to very quickly give a meaningful annotation to an image right off of the 3D screen share. using the different colors and brush weights can start to actually render out, you know, in a very basic way, just being able to render out those changes to give a sense of what that new and updated version of the design could look like. Or let's say, for example, you wanted to uh, take a screen grab of the interior and do some UI exploration. So we want to, so we have this full width interior screen and we want to explore some, some UI scenarios. So, so for example, we have our, our navigation screen, you know, perhaps we have, uh, some, some digital controls for, for, uh, heating and air conditioning. Perhaps we have a digital haptic, haptic feedback controller for the, uh, the shifter. You know, and this is just basic uh, HMI ideation and storyboarding. Very quickly, we can wireframe out a complete display. You know, for, ex for example, maybe the passenger can, uh, can have a live video chat with, with uh, two or more people on the passenger side. So, you know, we can very quickly have a, uh, a session where we can prototype and wireframe uh, UI concepts for a full width in information display. So let's, let's say we wanna bring these images back into the 3D workspace. Basically, I can just take the image, I can download it with markups, and going back to the 3D digital environment, I can upload those images directly into the workspace. So, th so there's the image as I sketched it in Bluescape, and I've brought it back into the 3D environment. And now I have a reference to go in and sketch annotations right in 3D. So now I can do, I can, in VR, in 3D VR, I can sketch out the exact same uh, annotations and updates. While the participants in Bluescape are able to watch in real time. And they can continue to, to take uh, screen grabs and provide further annotation.
So you see how very quickly I can, I can capture all of the visual notes that were, that were documented in Bluescape. And now I have a visual reference in 3D of all of the changes that need to be made to the model to progress the design to the satisfaction of the entire team. So that is how Car Design Academy is using Bluescape to transform the process of design education. And at the same time, Bluescape has the power to transform the way uh, design teams in the real world uh, meet, collaborate, work together, review content, discuss, annotate, and take notes. It's just an incredibly powerful tool. And combined with uh, Wacom Cintiq, it's just an incredibly powerful way to work uh, collaboratively. Okay, that wraps up my demonstration and uh, back to you, Peter. Hey, that was awesome. I really appreciate it, Eric. It's just fascinating for me, knowing like when I was looking at the opportunity to build collaborative technologies, a couple things stood out to me. One is I've never been able to get around an image with a bunch of people and be able to spread it and not lose that pixelization. Uh, and that's pretty important, obviously, in the design work you do, but you know, in the uh, when we go into sort of some of the stuff we do with the Department of Defense or looking at things that are sort of really have to get down to the minutia of it. Uh, it's pretty exciting to think that Bluescape can create this digital visual container where we can preserve the value uh, of those images. And the other piece is, and, and a lot of people told me you couldn't do it and we figured out how to do it and patent it. And that is to do video sync. You know, you can't really ever get video with people in multiple different places to play at the same time. Uh, but we were able to do that. We can put a full length movie in here and have people start it, stop it, duplicate it, iterate on it. So these are kind of some of the exciting things outside of utilizing Wacom to draw and design and do these things. But also when you start to think about the things we're focused on, it's to make a lot of this design work, a lot of business work become more seamless so that we can get products to market sooner. So Showing what you're doing obviously gets students to market faster, which allows us to have better uh, products in, 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 in that field. Uh, so pretty, pretty amazing to sit and listen to. And I thank you so much. I thank Wacom for the opportunity to speak. And I hope you all have a good rest of your day.